I love sardines. They're oily, they're really good for you. And these days they come prepped, ready to go. So you don't have to worry about taking the heads off and taking the bones out. They are beautiful when they're crumbed and shallow fried. So that's what I'm gonna do for you today and serve it with a tartare sauce. Now I'm shallow frying in some really good quality extra virgin olive oil. This is a light extra virgin olive oil. It doesn't mean that it's been highly processed. It's still a cold pressed extra virgin olive oil, but it's lighter in flavour, so it's fantastic for frying. And I think there's this misconception out there that you can't fry in extra virgin olive oil. It's not true at all. It gets up to a nice high heat. It will stay super crispy and it's fantastic with an oily fish, just like sardines. So we want to cover the base of our pan and we want that on a medium to high heat. Now for the crumbing. So I like to set myself up with a little bit of a station. So we've got flour in one bowl, two eggs, a splash of water, always a pinch of salt, and we'll just grab a fork, break those eggs up, and give it a really good whisk. If you like at this stage, you could add some dried oregano, some lemon zest, even some chilli, up to you. I'm gonna keep it very simple. And then some breadcrumbs. I'm using fine breadcrumbs for this recipe and some sesame seeds. I'll give that a quick mix. And now let's start crumbing. So we'll start with one of the fillets into our flour, coat it completely and shake off the excess. Into our egg wash. Again, we don't want the excess, so just give it a little shake and then into the breadcrumbs. Now just press down on it. They are delicate, so you don't want to be rough with them. And that's the first one done. Now I'm going to cook these in batches and because they are so small, they take no time at all to cook. Nothing worse than an overcooked sardine. So I'm going to say about 30 seconds on each side or until golden brown. Sardines are cooked, so I'll just drain them on some paper towel and let's get on to the tartare sauce. So I have half a French shallot in here, finely sliced, along with one gherkin. Again, we're just going to finely slice it, so cut it lengthways first and then we'll just run the knife through it. I love a homemade tartare sauce. Of course, you can buy some really good ones on the market, but when you make it yourself, you can add different types of herbs to it, different flavours. I just think it just tastes so much better. Also some capers, so just some baby capers. Just drain them from the brine. And the zest of about half a lemon. You can add some of the juice too, if you like. And some herbs, classic herbs for a tartare sauce. Some parsley and lots of dill. Dill and any type of fish works nicely, but in particular with the sardine. So we just wanna finely chop these herbs. We want about a tablespoon's worth and we'll use the rest for a little garnish later on. In it goes. For a little bit of spice, Tabasco. So we'll just add, oh, I'd say four or five drops and mayonnaise, a spoonful. I'll also add some yogurt. I like the tartness of the yogurt. So we'll add another spoonful. You could use some creme fraiche if you like to. It's also quite tart. Pinch of salt. Give that a mix. Just a really quick sauce. And just to tie everything together, I'll be using some classic extra virgin olive oil. So this one has a slightly more grassy tone to it. So we want something a little heavier in flavour. We want about a teaspoon, no more than that. Okay, fold that through. And that for me is the perfect tartare sauce. Okay, the fun part, let's plate this up. So just on a pretty little plate. We'll pile up our sardines. Look how crispy they are. They're just how they should be. And I love the speckles of sesame seeds throughout them. I think about four, maybe five for a plate up. And a generous spoonful of our homemade tartare sauce on the side. And some fresh herbs. Seeing I've got quite a lot of them. A little sprig of parsley and some of our dill, we'll just mix it together and we'll just pop that in the middle. Lastly, 
I love the addition of a little wedge, just a small one, of lemon right on the side there. Crumb sardines with homemade tartare sauce. If you haven't tried sardines before or you're not too sure about them, crumb them, shallow fry them. They are fantastic. <laughs>